Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at Studio Series 86, Rekgar. And just a quick note, I want to apologize about the lighting. Um, I have a new setup going on and I'm trying to get used to all this new light and new background and all this stuff like that. So just please bear, bear with me on that. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get into the figure. And as a figure, he is amazing. He is solid, he's well built. His engineering is pretty simple once you transform him, but from the outside of things, he looks pretty complicated. Uh, these spikes are a soft plastic rubber kind of thing. Um, they won't poke someone's eye out, but they do tend to bend and warp if you put them in hot places. Um, if you see the back here, he has a nice flame detail. Loving his colors. He comes with the axe. Comes with the two wheels. Uh, you can put them on either side. They just roll onto the spikes like this. Zoom in there. Just kind of plop on like that. And we get more onto that with transformation. All right, let's take a look at his head sculpt. All right, taking a look at the sculpting of this figure, his head is done very nicely. A nice uh, reference to the front of the bike there. Nice brown for his goatee. Loving the gold on the side of his head. And as you see, it's like the front of the bike. So it's a very good representation of it. All right, moving down to his chest. His nips all his nipples are posable. It, for some reason, I don't understand why. I mean, they just go in the front of the bike. So I have no idea why they are posable and why they all are on ball joints. But other than that, they can move up, down, and stuff like that. And we could move with that to articulation. Uh, but then going to the rest of the body, he looks very nice. As you can see here, and the flame decals on the back. I really do love the flames. Even though it is just that one part of the bike, it, the gold really, really helps in and looks very, very clean. All right, moving into the rest of the body. You can see some very good sculpt down there. Two boxes on the side of his waist. As you can see right here inside, let me move his arm real quick. Nice interior of the bike, or exterior of the bike, interior of the robot. Looks very nice. Alright. Let's move on to some comparisons. All right, that for some comparisons, here he is next to Siege Springer. And in my opinion, they look pretty good together. I mean, both are wide, both are chonk, like like a type of chonk build. Uh, overall, they, he will fit very well in your collection. Now, the scale of him is a bit off, as I'm going to bring in Hot Rod here real quick. Because um, in the movie, him and Hot Rod dance, and they're head tall in one scene. And then obviously in other scenes... Hot Rod is much smaller, but put him in the back here. As you can see here, he is next to Studio Series Hot Rod. And in my opinion, Hot Rod is tiny <laughs> compared to Rekkar. Yeah, he's on scale with Ro uh, Springer and Rodimus. So I guess they chose one scale over the other, which is, in my opinion is fine since I'm okay with Hot Rod being smaller since Rodimus is going to be the same size as Rekkar. Right. Right, for other comparisons, here we have Power of the Primes, Rekkar. So tiny. <laughs> I am getting a bit of complaints from people on the internet that I still am going to display both Rekkars to each other, like next to each other on my shelf. Um, but he's just going to be a random junkie on, and obviously he's going to be Rekkar. But I'm, the difference is so just, just uncanny. It's just in the years we've came from him to him, and I think that's a very good improvement. Like, I still love the Combiner Wars groove mold, but 
Rekgar deserves his own mold, and I am glad we finally got one for him. And then you can see the colors. He's more of that goldish orange bronze color, and he's more of the traditional Rekgar colors. All right. All right, and here he is next to tracks real quick for comparisons to a mainline or for Cybertron Deluxe. Again, he, Rekgar is just pretty big. One of the, I think he's on, as tall as Cyclonus, if I'm not mistaken, but he, they look nice together. All right, there he is with comparisons and let's get down to transformation. All right, and for transformation, what you want to do is take the wheels off the arms, no matter what side he's on. And you just want to take them off and put them off to the side right now. All right. I mean, there's many ways you can start with him. So I, what I normally do first is you want to start with the hand. So you want to flip them down right here, like so. Same with the other side. All right. Put his arms out like this. Flip up the side panels then what you want to do right here I'm gonna just unhinge all of this then you want to reveal that get them situated like so all right and as you can see we get more of the outside of the bike sculptor right here on this side. All right. What I'm do is also straighten out his legs like that. Like so, flip his feet out like that. All right, so what you wanna do now is, so his head resembles this. So we wanna just put it inside like that. I'm just straightening everything out. Kind of, kind of looking like that. Sorry about the lighting again. Still getting used to this kind of lighting and hopefully it'll get better over time. Just handles like that. And then what do you want to do? Sorry about that. I'm having a bit of trouble getting his thing all situated. One moment. All right, give me one. I'll be right back. I'm having some difficulties. All right, sorry about that. I just had to you. So what you want to do is you want to lay this part inside of here. Give me one second. Lay that all flat in there. You want to get these two tabs right here and just flip them down like, like so. So you can evenly straighten it out. You can see these pegs? Like so. They go inside these little notches. Same with the other side. Like so. And then there we got the front. Just face, just like that. All right, for the backside, it's pretty simple. You want to take his legs, straighten that backside out. He has little ports on his feet, little holes. You just kind of want to. There you go. Like so. Same with the other side. Hear that click. Tap that in. Fold these down. Give kind of that curve going on. And there you have the base of the bike. So what you want to do now is you get the wheel. You see the two holes right here inside of his arms. You just want to put the wheel in between. Position it however you like. And then on the back side, you want to go with knees are right here. Sorry, but let me focus right there. Same thing like you did with the front, get these two, these two holes, 
Come on. One second. Do it like that. All right, there you go. Make sure everything is all nice and secure like. Oh, and he has two kickstands on the bottom of his legs so it can help him balance. Since without these, he can't really stand or sit in bike mode. There you go. Straighten out the front guns. Sorry about all that, there you go. There you have his bike mode. And here we have Rekar in bike mode. Stunning paint job on him. In vehicle mode and in robot mode, his bike is a bit weird looking uh, compared to other bike transformers we have seen. But I mean, he's pretty accurate to his on-screen appearance in the 86 movie. As we can see, we can see all the silver from the robot mode. That flames the toolbox actually become like little carrier bags on the back of the bike and there we go have inside the back of his head becomes little gauges got the handlebars we got the gas tank right here overall he looks absolutely amazing now however a QC on mine and it's not really I guess QC just more of I guess clearance so this one wheel, no matter where it goes, if it's in the front or the back, doesn't spin, but this one spins for a good while. And I can just keep swapping them out. It doesn't make any difference to me since, you know, I'm not rolling them down the road. <laughs> um, again, the nips are just in front, so I don't know why they made them ball jointed. Um, that's just me. Um, they are blast effect compatible, and I'll show that off in a few minutes. But overall, he looks good. As I stated, they are blast effect compatible, so they can be used as little turrets for little missile launchers in the front of bike mode and obviously in robo mode. So yeah, still don't know why they included the ball joints. Uh, I'm gonna stop saying that. But overall, it's a very nice touch that he can shoot blast effects from his nipples, question mark, I don't know. <laughs> overall, I mean, it looks nice. I mean, you can have him shooting in bike mode and in robo mode and then he can, he's has ports all over him as well. Oh, before I forget, his axe has a little peg right here. And you can peg it to the back right here. And then it does leave clearance for the wheel, so you can just have it sit like that. Alright, moving on to comparisons. All right, and for vehicle comparison, here he is with the Power of the Prime Vrekar. And in my opinion, I prefer the bike mode of the Power of the Primes just because it's a real life bike in a way, well, rather than a pile of junk on wheels. <laughs> but I can't admit that the newer figure is much better and he's bulkier. All right. Here he is next to an Earthrise car. Obviously, scales out of whack. But in the movie, he is this big as a bike. So it makes sense. Here he is to an Order Generations figure. Again. Alright. And as for comparisons, that's all I have at the moment. Alright, All right. move to final thoughts. Alright everyone, overall the figure is outstanding. I can't wait for everyone to finally have him. And just, I don't know, I'm just very excited to have him. I've had Power of the Prime Rock Car and even the Combined Wars Legends one for a while now. And I'm going to keep all three. Um, however, they're not just, they're not going to be Rock Car, they're just going to be Junkions on my shelf. And alongside the new Junkions we're rumored to be getting, I can't wait to finally have a good set of Junkions to go against the sweeps. Alright, so that about wraps the video. Don't forget to check out my Twitter for more images of Rekar and some amazing scenes I have put him in. Uh, it's in the description down below. 
Also, don't forget to join AllSpark Discord server. I just started being partnered with them, and they're very chill people. They're amazing to hang out with and talk to about Transformers. And again, the link's in the description. And overall, I hope you guys have had a good day. See you next time. Don't go away. AllSpark will be right back. AllSpark TV, now that's just Prime.